Good morning, good morning, good morning. This morning, glorify him. Get up out of your bed and say, thank you, Jesus, for your goodness. Thank you, Jesus, because I am alive. Thank you, Jesus, because you are with me. Thank you, Jesus. Give him glory. Glorify him. Glorify him with your lips. Exalt him. Enthrone him in your life. As soon as you get out of that bed, enthrone him in your home. Enthrone him in the atmosphere of your house. Enthrone him in the land. Enthrone him in the ears. Enthrone him in your feet. Enthrone him in your heart, in your mind, in your thoughts, in your ears. Let him be enthroned and let him take over you. Let him take over you. Let him take over your family. Let him take over. Let him take over tell him lord take over take over every sin that i'm facing take over my life take over my children take over lord you are in control you are in charge you are the center i give you the center the center of my heart the center of my children the center of my family in the name of jesus surrender completely to him and him alone. In the book of Joshua, in the book of Joshua, and this is what he had placed in my heart this morning. In the book of Joshua, Joshua 1 9 says, Have I not commanded you? He says, Be a strong and of a good courage. Do not be afraid nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you whenever you go he is with you he's the beginning and the end he's the alpha and the omega he is faithful he never leaves us or forsake us we are the one that walk away from him he does not walk away from us he is with us call on him call on him Place him in the center of your life. It doesn't matter the circumstances that you are facing. It doesn't matter the, the difficulties that are coming your way. When you are placing the Lord in the center, he goes before you and after you. And he cleans the way. <laughs> he opens the way. And that's why he wants us to know that he is with us. That he's giving us courage. He's giving us wisdom and discernment to do whatever we need to do. We need to embrace every trial. Trials are helping us to grow, to get out of the comfort zone and open up our hearts and our eyes to him and come from a place of total surrender. Surrender surrender so this morning you need to tell them i surrender my life to you completely i surrender my marriage i surrender my children i surrender my friends i surrender my job i surrender my health i surrender my finances i surrender and surrender all surrender all he's telling you not to be afraid he's telling you to be strong and courageous do not be discouraged. Do not be discouraged. Discouragement can take you into the wrong mindset. Do not be discouraged. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. That's him. That's him. Tell him, Lord, fill me with the fullness of your kingdom. Give me the fullness of you so there is nothing inside of me, of me. But it's you, Lord, and only you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, this morning, at the sound of the shofar, I declare and I decree that the love of Abba and the spirit of boldness and courage and perseverance it's going to be released and it's going to be imparting them, Lord, 
and you are going to touch them and their life is going to be impacted and transformed, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, run to the cross. Run to the cross. It is only through crucifixion that we are able to do what we need to do. Run to Jesus. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Jesus is greater than anything that you're going through right now. At the sound of the shofar, Lord, bring a breakthrough in all areas of their lives. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> kings and lords or oh Lord, I bless you and I glorify his holy name in Jesus name I pray shalom on your family on your life on your home your mind shalom in the name of Jesus <laughs>